Hi, I'm Terry, and I'll be asking fun questions for you in the video. If you get the answer correct, I'll give you planet points. Keep an eye out for me. Hello there. My name is Bonnie, and I'm a fruit bat. Hop on. Let me show you my home. Around here, we're lucky because we have humans who grow their cocoa on shady farms rather than sunny ones. This method of farming helps us animals in so many ways. As you can see, the cocoa plants are growing freely with a canopy of trees blocking sunlight. With this farming technique, less weeds end up growing, which helps the cocoa plants because the weeds take up resources like water and sunlight. This way, the cocoa plants have all the nutrients they need to grow. Unlike on sun-grown cocoa farms, farmers on shade-grown cocoa farms use the trees to their advantage, so there's no need to cut them down. This is super helpful to the environment and to the animals that live in the forest. It's quiz time! Why are shade-grown crops good for the environment? Is it A. Less weeds B. Help the animals C. A and B Or D. Cut down trees Did you say C? C is correct. Good job. You get a planet protector point. Meet Tom the tree kangaroo. He is one of the many animals that benefit from the use of shade-grown farming tactics. Hi, my name is Tom and I'm a tree kangaroo. My species and I live in trees, so shade-grown coca farms help us live because growing coca this way doesn't require the elimination of trees. This way, our homes stay intact. Thank you, Tom. Now let's meet Natasha the Newt. Hi, my name is Natasha, and I'm a newt. I eat insects, so when farmers grow coca on shady farms without the use of toxic pesticides, it helps me live comfortably. I can eat insects that would otherwise harm the crops, which helps both me and the farmers. Thanks, Natasha. Those pesticides aren't only harmful to us and humans, but they're also harmful to the environment. When farmers use shade to grow their cocoa, they're helping so much. Lastly, here's Eve the earthworm. Hi, I'm Eve the Earthworm. When farmers use shade-grown farming tactics, they don't have to cut down trees. Because the trees remain, their leaves fall to the ground and decompose, which makes the soil richer. I'm so grateful I have healthy, moist soil to live in. In addition to Eve benefiting from their rich soil, the cocoa and other plants around benefit from it as well. It's me again. All the animals we've met share a common thread. What is it? Is it A, they're all mammals, B, they like to read books, C, they're all carnivores, or D, their habitats are in danger? Did you say D? Wow, you're really good at this. Here's another planet protector point. Also, Tom, Natasha, and Bonnie are all endangered species. The populations of tree kangaroos, Laos warty newts, and Rodriguez flying foxes are low and could disappear if the habitats keep getting destroyed. We have to work to protect them. We also know that when cocoa is grown in the shade, the temperature is lower. This means that the cocoa beans tend to be more dense. And the denser the cocoa bean is, the better it tastes. In all, shade-grown cocoa farms are much better for animals and the environment than sun-grown cocoa farms. So come on guys, let's help the forest by buying shade-grown forest products like shade-grown cocoa. Last question of the night, folks. This time, I won't give you choices. What have you done already to help the animals in their habitats? That's amazing. Here's a planet protector point. Now, you're one step closer to becoming a planet protector. Congratulations.